Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to optimize your Fortnite for 8 gigs of RAM and some additional steps I would personally do if I would be running right now 8 gigs of RAM and also a secret tip how to fix the performance mode on 8 gigs of RAM so stay tuned and if you want to support my work please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into today's topic and yeah guys for this first part of today's video we're going to talk about the program which is called MemTest and I'm literally going to put this on my discord guys you can literally just join in the description it's going to be right there in the channel just simply verify and what this program does is kind of interesting we're just gonna open it up in the first place and it's gonna tell you like everything this program utilizes we can literally check our RAM for any issues in the first place guys I would always recommend you to do this maybe like all two to three months just to make sure that everything is running at hundred percent you know that your RAM is just simply fine and as you can see you can now right now in here put the amount of RAM you want to check let's say we want to check the whole eight gigs of RAM uh, we're just gonna type it in there or we want to check maybe only like four gigs of RAM or stuff like that just as a stress test more or less yeah so yeah we're just gonna put it in there guys and then we're gonna start testing and you can see already in the background here your computer RAM will now be tested if any problems will be found you will get notified you can stop the test whenever you wish but the longer you run it the better and as mentioned it's just gonna check right now here if your RAM is actually running correctly and it's also gonna tell you the errors and stuff like that and if you have any issues with your RAM it might not be on 100% working so therefore yeah you might like fix it try to fix it by new RAM I don't know but this is just the first step I would always recommend you to do just to make sure that your PC is just running fine, you know. And yeah guys, for this first part of today's video, I want you to join my Discord because I have right there on my Discord guys, I have a program which is called MemReduct and we need this one here for this first optimization step. The link is literally in the description and all you guys have to do is just simply verify and there's already this MemReduct channel and just simply download this program here. And I just realized, um, yeah. So yeah guys, and once we install this program, we just simply open it up and I'm just gonna explain it real quick here. As you can see guys, we have a total physical memory right now here of 16 gigs of RAM and the available one is 13.6% because all the data in the background, literally all you do on your Windows is gonna get saved on your RAM more or less and this is called the RAM list, the standby list. And we wanna make sure that the standby list is gonna get cleaned all the time because as you can see, 14% are used right now and we're not even doing something in the background. And especially with eight gigs of RAM, we just wanna make sure to put the exact settings here, which I put in here, boys. Um, if you're running eight gigs of RAM, please make sure to put the check here on clean when above. And then we put 60 in here, 60% and clean every 30 minutes you can also do this more or less I mean yeah it's it's kind of like doubled so you have to decide for yourself you can also put in a clean like every 15 minutes if you really want to take advantage of this but I heard from a few people if you put this like too frequently in there you might cause some lag and stutter especially while playing so therefore you gotta know for yourself just test it out but um, the first one here definitely keep it on clean when above 60% because as you guys know Windows is already taking up 2.5 until 3 gigs of RAM so therefore please just make sure to copy everything I've got here guys, my whole settings, memory cleaning, working sets, system working sets, standby list, standby list, um, this small check here, modify page list and combine memory list. Just simply check all of these here guys and put in here 60 and you should be good to go. And yeah, then just leave it running in the background while playing and you definitely should get more FPS. And now let's move on with the next step. And just as a quick tip guys, if you're utilizing actually Discord in the background to talk to your teammates or whatsoever, please make sure to copy this. Just simply go into your Discord settings and then just scroll all the way down until you find advanced settings here. And there you can already see it, hardware acceleration. Turn on hardware acceleration which uses your GPU to make Discord smoother. Turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops. And you can already tell it guys, literally Discord is utilizing your GPU or taking off some power off your GPU to make actually like conversations smoother and just Discord, you know, like with all these animations run smoother in the background. But if you're, as mentioned, experiencing any FPS drops, just make sure to turn this off here. It will actually ask you, um, changing the hardware acceleration setting will quit and relaunch Discord. Are you sure you want to do this? Because as mentioned, it's going to make your Discord a little bit less smoother, but I mean, I'm rather having like a unsmooth Discord experience and therefore a better gaming experience. So I would definitely recommend you to do this real quick. And yeah, it's just gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna launch up again. And we're already done here with this optimization step as well. And as an extra quick tip guys, especially while playing on 8 gigs of RAM, please make sure that you don't have any unnecessary programs running in the background. I know this is a really basic tip, but I just want to mention it. So many people actually underestimate how much RAM actually Steam takes in the background or wallpaper engine or some other stuff, even here my Logitech G Hub. I don't need this while playing. I can literally turn this off guys. This doesn't have to be running in the background. And please in general, just make sure that you're actually only running all the programs you need to actually play. So yeah guys, and for this next step, we're literally right now here on 4 
Fortnite and I'm quite sure that every one of you who plays on 8 gigs of RAM knows that if you're using the alpha performance mode you might have some stutter or some glitch textures and it just looks weird especially in the distance you know trees are not rendering in properly and I actually found a solution for this guys. And you're probably asking yourself, okay, how can we actually fix this? And I found a simple solution, guys. If we go into our Fortnite settings and just stay here under the video category and scroll down a little bit, you can see that I'm using the alpha performance mode, but I'm also using low meshes. And I actually found out that using low meshes causes less of these like unrendered textures. You know, we have tons of visual bugs there. I'm just gonna put them right now here on screen. It looks a little bit like this here, you know, textures are not loading in properly. And it's just really annoying. And sometimes even like whole houses are not rendering in properly. And if you're on eight gigs of RAM, 100% put your meshes on low and I already made a full on guide explaining why low meshes are anyways the wave right now and why so many top tier Fortnite pro players are switching to low meshes and I just want to tell you this please put your meshes on low try it out for yourself in game if you don't believe me and you will see that you will 100% get less of these like bug textures and another quick feature which I also want to tell you is if you actually disable your replays this also might fix it for some people I've heard it as well I did some google research and I've seen that tons of people also said that just simply turn of replays already fixed this for them as well. And if you applied all of these settings here correctly, we're gonna move over now to the next step. And yeah guys, I just wanna mention that I'm soon going to launch my own website where all my optimization guides and all my most important tweak videos are actually gonna be in there with some additional content guys. I also put in a blog feature where I can post on a daily basis about whatever topic you guys wanna know about, maybe YouTube growth or just, I don't know, the best budget GPUs on the market at the moment. I'm probably just gonna ask you guys on YouTube what you wanna see and then later on turn these topics into blog posts. And yeah, just let me know what you think about it guys. I'm just trying to deliver some daily content on there guys for you to read like every evening you know additionally to my YouTube uploads and I think it's just a cool addition especially since I'm so much more freer there because I can just literally do something about YouTube analytics or how to rank in YouTube search and stuff like that just topics of all which maybe not fit 100% into my YouTube channel and I can just put them then on the blog you know and you guys for this final step I just want to tell you that I already have tons of optimization guides on my PC showing you how to reduce the RAM usage and CPU usage of Windows 10 and all the good stuff guys I'm gonna leave all the videos linked in the description so maybe you want to check them out for yourself if you want to tweak your windows even more for gaming. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you want to see next year on my channel. I'm trying to produce so much content in the next few weeks guys. It's gonna be crazy. Maybe even double daily uploads. I don't know by now. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask them as well. I try to answer as many as possible. And as mentioned, just join the Discord. You have over 3000 active members who can help you with any type of question. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this video and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace